for those of y'all don't know, to give you some context, it was a vape shop. And at the end here, you can tell, dude, this is so funny. You just got the cops out here. What is it? One, two. You got like six of them waiting outside for him to come out. Issues he's he's dealing with in his life, um, obviously, last night um, happened. So. Well, 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 I figured we'd get an update on this situation, and we did. I really don't want to give y'all the long and drug out backstory. If you haven't seen this video we made yesterday, I'll pop it up right here. We give you all the information and all the details of what happened yesterday. But if you don't want to watch that video and you have no idea what's going on, because yes, there's going to be some new people coming to this video that unfortunately they're not informed, let me give you a long story short. Without boring the people who already know what's going on, Eric Gilbert, former five-star recruit, former best tight end, not in his class, but best overall rated tight end in the history of high school football, he got arrested, and yeah, that's pretty much the end of his career. Now, some people would say, well, Matt, that's a little premature to say that his career's over. And you know what I find ironic and funny about that? Because there was actually people in the comment section of yesterday's video saying, yo, Matt actually called this months ago when he left Georgia. And I completely forgot about it, but I'm glad you guys reminded me because, yeah, you're right about me being right. I called this months ago. I said when he left Georgia, it's done. His career's over. We'll talk about this more in just a second, but a lot of you got to understand something. For Mr. Eric Gilbert here, and I'm wishing him the best of luck, but this is bigger than football. We are at a critical, and I mean an extremely critical point, not just in his football career, but in his life. This is much more than, hey, can this guy potentially go to the NFL? No, 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 no. We're now having a conversation of, hey, can this guy just get a regular job and stay out of trouble? That's where we're at. He couldn't stay out of trouble with Georgia. That's why he left, and he can't stay out of trouble at Nebraska. And what's even more unfortunate about this, and I'm going to show you what Matt Rule had to say about this in just a second, they tried. They tried everything to keep him out of trouble, and they couldn't. At a certain point in time, when do we point the finger at Eric Gilbert and start holding him accountable? It's not LSU's fault it didn't work out there. It's not Georgia's fault it didn't work out there. It is not Nebraska's fault it didn't work out there. It is no other than Eric Gilbert's fault. I need to stop right there because I can already feel myself going on a rant and tangent. Anyways, getting back on track here, Mr. Eric Gilbert, he was arrested yesterday, which was Tuesday morning, after robbing a store for over $1,600 worth of vapes and just cigars and stuff like that. It was pretty much a petty crime. It was one of the stupidest things I've ever seen an athlete do. You're already on a thin piece of ice, and you're risking your football career, your livelihood, for $1,600. So yeah, without me going on a huge rant and tangent, it's mind-boggling and mind-blowing, to say the least. I used to think people were crazy and weird for not having the same mentality that I have, trying to dominate every single day, trying to be the best version of yourself but as i've gotten older and slightly matured i've come to find out and realize people are wired differently and that's all there is to it rather or less though i would just love to sit down with eric gilbert and ask him questions like hey man what was your thought process what did you think was going to come out of this and why would you even attempt this there's just so many questions i have but moving along here today we had the video footage of him robbing that store there is no volume in this video footage so i'm just going to talk over it but as you can see right here at the very beginning that is Eric Gilbert. He is throwing what is labeled as the, by the police department as a cement block at the door trying to break in. And as you can also see, he has his face covered with, it looks like a t-shirt just so you can see his eyes. And one thing that stood out to me when I first saw this video is it's really odd to see somebody doing a crime like this alone. Very, very, very strange because a lot of times we'll chop up these four and five star recruits making bad decisions as, oh, you know, that's their boys, they're from the hood, you know, that's just the environment they grew up in, that's all they know. And I completely understand that, and I can empathize with that. But with this, he's by himself. So it wasn't like he was hanging out with the wrong crowd and people were persuading him to do this. He was alone. And yet again, it goes back to this, I would love to sit down and have a conversation with him and just understand the psychology behind this thought process. We'll leave it at this, wired differently, but continuing along here, he eventually breaks the door and he gets in. And then once he gets in from outside, I guess there's like certain rooms you got to get in and obviously the door's locked. So you know what he does? As you can see right here, he's kicking the door, kicking the door, and finally he gets it open. It's a dang shame, man, because he could definitely be using all that strength he used to kick the door on the football field. And as you can see, as the video continues to go on, it's just him walking throughout the store and picking up whatever items he wants. For those of y'all don't know, to give you some context, it was a vape shop. And at the end here, you can tell, dude, this is so funny. You just got the cops out here. What is it? One, two. You got like six of them waiting outside for him to come out. And then at the end here, you can see he's walking out. He's thinking he hit the jackpot. He had a huge success. He's like, yep, 
just got me some free vapes. I'm about to go light them up. And then boom, immediately he realizes he messed up. I assume right here, that's when the cops, they opened the door. They probably told him to freeze and get on the ground and do all that stuff. That's pretty much all there is to the video. And I want to be real with you guys for a second. It's sad. It's extraordinarily sad. Nothing pisses me off more, but also saddens me more than seeing a young man out here, whether that's in football or just in life, waste talent and potential. And it's no different from Johnny Manziel. Nothing's more sad to me than watching Johnny Manziel squander all his talent and ability. It's heartbreaking to me because I don't think some of these people out here understand how gifted they are. And I'm not just talking about sports, guys. This is bigger than sports. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about your people you see in your everyday life. I see people all the time that have a ton of talent, a ton of potential in whatever field they want to do and they just make a couple of bad life choices and their life's over and that's all it takes guys i'm here to tell you to my younger people all it takes is one mistake not even a couple but one mistake to ruin your entire life if you think i'm wrong a classic example is henry ruggs henry ruggs was one of the kindest and humblest young men you'd ever meet and his life's over or it's not completely over but you get what i'm trying to say he ruined it for a good a bit amount of time i don't want to talk about that too much but i think you could get my point just please to all my young people out there please and even older i don't matter what age you are just please make smart decisions i'm going to show you what matt rule had to say about this in just a second but i also want to address this before i forget to address the people saying well matt it's a little premature to say his career is over no it's not let me explain why when somebody shows you their true colors you better believe them if somebody shows you they're a bad person, you better believe they're a bad person. Here's what I want y'all to understand. The reason I am saying his career is over isn't because of this incident alone. It is based off of what has happened the past three to four years combined. I'm going to give you a phrase and quote here, and I want you to think about this. Pattern recognition. Every single program that Eric Gilbert has been at, it's been the same issues. Nothing's been resolved. So at a certain point in time, when are we going to say, all right, yeah, this dude's done? Everybody knew, or if you've been keeping up with Eric Gilbert and his situation, everybody knew. At Nebraska, this was his last chance, the last straw. And guess what? He ruined it. It's done. It's over. Is it harsh? Yes, but there's consequences to your actions. Maybe Eric Gilbert would have been a good NFL player. He had the body frame. He had the size. But here's what he doesn't have. He doesn't have the mentality. To all my older people out there, not older people, but people that grew up watching Michael Jordan, why did everybody, and why do people now to this day, they say, Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time. Why do they? When people bring up Michael Jordan and why he's the GOAT, what does everybody say? Mentality. I have never heard somebody say, oh, Michael Jordan's the greatest of all time because of his mid-range. I've never heard somebody say, oh, Michael Jordan's the greatest of all time because of his defense. I've never heard anybody say Michael Jordan's the greatest of all time because of his athletic ability. Every single time you talk about the GOAT debate, every single time you talk about Michael Jordan, you talk about the killer mentality, the cold-blooded killer mentality. You may mention some other things, but the main focal point is the mentality. What has been the biggest knock on LeBron all throughout his career? Oh, he doesn't take the final shot. He doesn't have that killer instinct like Kobe or Jordan. You see what I'm saying? Sports are much more than just having the talent. If you've ever played sports at a high level, you know this. The game's at least 50% mental. At least. I think most people would say the game's at least 70% mental. Eric Gilbert mentally doesn't have what it takes. And if you don't have it mentally, you'll never be worth the hill of beans. And guess what? You want to know the cold hard truth about all this? Eric Gilbert is not that great of a football player. He's a great talent, but not a great football player. There's a difference. Your best ability, say it with me now, guys, is availability. With all that being said, though, let me show you what Matt Rule had to say about this. Matt wrote a clip. Really disappointed, really sad for him. Um, you know, when we took when we took Eric, we thought we had a good. We 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 knew we had a good group of people that were going to help him through some of the issues he's he's dealing with in his life. Um, had been really proud of the job he had done in the spring and summer. Um, but to be honest, during camp, you know, he's, he's, he's had some struggles. He's been working to overcome them. We have a great group of people here trying to help him. And then um, I want to pause it right there because that did intrigue me a little bit. Matt Rule stated right there, yeah, in spring camp and all throughout the offseason, he was having some problems and we're working on that. Well, here's what I find a little fishy about this because if you've been keeping on with this situation, Kirby Smart said the same exact thing. Now, we don't know what problems these may be, but I'm going to assume they're off the field problems. I think that's fair to state. I'm just trying to put two and two together here, guys. Maybe he's been doing stuff like this. This, this is just the first time he got caught. Because let me ask you a real legit question. Do you honestly believe this is the first time Eric Gilbert has done something like this? I don't think so. I think this is the first time he got caught. Let's continue along. Obviously, last night um, happened. So I don't have a lot of details. You guys probably have more details than me. I, I got a quick phone call and then went out to the field. 
So, um, you know, we'll work through those, you know, as we get more information, but. Wow, wow, wow. And before we end out this video, I want to read you off this comment. And it's what we talked about yesterday, but a lot of people are stating this as well. Before NIL, this would have made a lot more sense. LOL. Why would I say LOL like that? I don't know. You get the point. Yeah, it's self-explanatory. There's just no excuse for this. $1,600, man. $1,600. It's just sad, man. Really sad. Eric Gilbert, hope you get some help, brother. I really do. I hope you turn your life around and wish you the best of luck. I am curious, though. Let me know your thoughts down below, but... Double minute!